Hi guys, so I just wanted to share with you some different ways of casting onto your timber basket base. I have um, the way that I prefer to do it, but there are some different ways and you might like to play around um, with doing it differently. So the way that I usually do it and the way that I've shown in my videos so far is sort of like a double layer. So I start with a round of slip stitches through the holes first and then I go and do a round of single crochets through the hole that go around the edge of the base. Oh, just a little tip too, if you are using quite thick yarn and you're having trouble getting your hook through when you're doing the second layer, um, you can just take your hook and just push it straight through and pull it all the way through the hole. And if you go around the base, like this it just separates the yarn and it makes it really easy to get the hook in and um, just helps it go a bit more smoothly so the reason why I like this method is because when you um, go all the way around and you flip your yarn to start building your basket walls you're left with a really nice thick layer that the slip stitches make around the base. So if you're sitting the base on um, glass or tiles or a hard surface, you've got a good sort of cushion layer. It's not going to scratch the surface that it's on. Um, and yeah, sort of like a layer of protection. And also it just covers up the gaps really nicely when your basket base, when your basket comes up, you just see the nice timber around the edge so that's the way that I like to do it um, a quicker way is that you can just do single crochet straight around without doing the layer of slip stitches first so you just go straight to the empty hole and single crochet around like this so it is faster because you're not doing that first layer of slip stitches um, but you can notice that it does leave more of a gap with the holes that you can see and if you were putting little things in your basket they might slip through um, but that is another way you can do it but you can see why I like to do the slip stitches first because you can see the difference with that and then another option is that you can make your baskets with an exposed timber edge so that's just something a little bit different a little bit unique and the way that you do that is you do your same your starting round of slip stitches but then you do your single crochet it's a little bit more fiddly into you go under the back of the slip stitch so you sort of have to, if you do your slip stitches a bit loose, it makes it much easier. I'm getting a bit tangled up. So you can see there um, how that will build your walls up on the inside and leave you with an exposed edge. I find with this method that the walls of the basket are not quite as strong and they, um, they tend to lean in a little bit. When you do it around the outside edge, um, it just gives them a really sturdy base and I think helps keep them nice and straight. Um, but it does give a nice little look so yeah so those are just some little tips for your Sunday crochet session uh, have a play around and see what you think let me know which method you prefer okay have fun <laughs>